So, uh, how many do you, how many of you out there actually catch? All right, my shoe video number twenty-eight, the Vegas edition one. Do you guys really pay attention to the intro there? Because uh, I think only one person commented on uh, my opening. Uh, if you didn't notice, just watch it a little closer. So, I thought it was kind of funny. So, uh, it's right at the end of the opening. Uh, let's see. Uh, did you go to Pawn Stars and talk to Chumley while I was in Vegas? No, I, we went down there, but there was a line. And, you know, I, I'm not going to stand in line to meet somebody. A uh, person's a person to me. Whether they're on TV makes no difference to me. Uh, there was no way in hell I was going to stand in line for 15, 20 minutes just to say, Hey, what's up? I hear you collect shoes. And do a little shoe talking. I don't know. If, if it was an open store and I went in, done that, that would have been fine. Uh, we went back later that day, but apparently they were all leaving. And uh, I went around back to get out of the parking lot, and uh, was it Corey came out. I saw him going to his truck, but I didn't see Chum Lee, so I didn't start a conversation or anything. So, no, I didn't get to talk to him about shoes, but it would have been cool, especially to get it on video. But, uh, yeah, that didn't happen. All right, here we go. Let's see, I rock fakes all day, but do what you do. Just don't hate the man who doesn't have enough money to buy real Jordans. Sometimes you have to fake it till you make it, you dig? Um, no, I don't. What is your name, Smack1906? No, I, I don't get it, because you know what? I didn't have nothing, all right? You think I'm going to fake it till I make it? Fuck no. Dude, you know what? I'm going to keep it real for life. I don't care whether it's a pair of freaking J's or it's a 999 pair from freaking Walmart when I was a kid. There ain't no fake it till you make it. If you fake it one thing, you're fake it all things. That's the way I look at it. Because I came from nothing. I spent two week freaking fucking paycheck on one goddamn pair of shoes, but they were real as fuck, all right? So... Uh, I don't mean to get hated on or be be a hater here or anything, but that's bull crap because that's just an excuse in my book, all right? You're just trying to fit into something you can't fit into, and you know what? There's nothing cool about that, all right? I'd respect you more if you walked up to me with a pair of freaking $10 shoes on and say, yeah, times are tough, but man, I love your shoes or whatever, man, because you know what? I can respect a man who walks up in a $10 pair of shoes over a person that walks up in a fake $60 pair of shoes. There, there's no respect in that. There's not. And let, and let me tell you one thing. I'm just waiting to get my ass kicked because here's what I do. <laughs> when I'm out in public and I see a pair of fakes, I will call you out. All right. I will either make a comment or I will yell, fake, so you hear me. I'm not doing it to be pissy or anything. I'm just calling it out. I, you know, I ain't doing it to try to start no fight or nothing like that, but if you're wearing fakes, I'm going to call you out, you know. People are going to take it for what it is. You know, I get nasty looks, but don't rock them if you don't want to get called out on them. That's all I got to say. So, uh, like I said, I, can res I won't take a second look or make a judgment on anybody who's wearing any kind of shoes whatsoever, unless you're wearing a pair of fake-ass shoes, because... Ten times, ten times out of ten, you're going to know those shoes are fake. And you know what? I have no respect for that. That's just my thing. Uh, hence the educational videos, fake or real. All right? I want to get that other percent who may not know some education to uh, teach them a little bit about fake or reals. But anyway, yeah. I'm not, I'm not doing it to hate. I'm not doing it to, to piss people off. I'm just calling it out. I'm calling it like I see it. I'm keeping it real. How about that? You know, uh... I don't get it. That's just not my thing. I, I, there's no excuse for it. When you, when, when you wear fakes, you'll do anything fake to try to fit into something. You know? It, dude, you could fit in with a pair of freaking $5 shoes. Alright. You... Alright, here I go. Touchy subject, maybe? Let's see. I... 
can go, I've been to thrift stores. I've bought shoes at thrift stores. You've seen them in the videos. You saw the Air Force Ones. You saw the 13s, all white, beat it up. Beaters, all right? I paid a dollar ninety nine for them. I will respect the shit out of somebody who buys an authentic pair of shoes, no matter what they look like, where they got them, over somebody who's rocking fakes, knowing they are fake. No respect there. Sorry, that's just my thing. And like I said, it's something I'm passionate about because I've been on both ends of the spectrum. I've been having nothing. I know what it likes to have nothing. I know what it's like to to get my first pair of real shoes and know that feeling that you get like, damn, I'm getting respect now because I've got a pair of Nikes on my feet, you know, as opposed to to your $10, you know, Kmart shoes or your $20 Kmart shoes or whatever. But, uh, no. I, I, I will look down upon no person who's wearing sneaks of any sort. Unless they're fake J's and they know they're fake. So, uh, but I'm real like that, so. I, I don't bullshit about anything because uh, I learned my lessons. Uh, I don't play fake, I don't lie, I ain't gonna BS you. I'll tell you the truth. Whether you want me to or not, I'm sorry, that's just the way I roll. If I offend you, you know, hey, it's not my intention. My intention is just to point something out to keep it real. Uh, call it like I say it. Uh, there's, there's no lies, no BS coming out of this mouth, no matter what the case is, whether it's shoes or life or anything, because uh, that just ain't my game no more. My dark years were 92 to 95, and that was my lie, cheat, and steal time, and I learned lessons and had karma kick me in the ass from all the, the crap that I did those three years to know that uh -uh, there ain't no more BS and no more crap and I'll call everything straight down the middle and like I see it and I don't give a fuck. So anyway, that's me. My battery's almost dead here. So I think I'm out of questions this go around. I probably got tons. I probably got about three or four videos taped. So uh, I got, like I said, I got couple more shoe videos coming up uh, do a couple extreme versions maybe of those videos uh, I've got at least one more faker real videos coming soon which I need to tape um, and then I'm probably laying low there's what, one pair of shoes coming out this month that I'm gonna try to get that I know I, I want and then one pair next month so I may be laying low here for a little bit so uh, stay with me stay around and later